y'all happy thursday so today i am getting ready to film a couple videos and i decided to turn the camera on to also vlog because <clears throat> i'm getting ready to do my makeup and i'm gonna try some of my makeup products that i showed y'all i think in my last vlog some of them i still have not tried so i figured i might as well turn the camera on so um let's see first things first my lips feel slightly dry okay i'm gonna put on my lip balm this is a pat mcgrath lip fetish lip balm and mine is kind of melted this one but it still works i just don't take it with me anymore because i don't want it to like melt in my bag but it still works so that's that so i've already applied sunscreen and supposedly that's supposed to have a primer in it too but i'm still going to apply a primer because i feel like when i film i get hot and so my face just gets to shining <laughs> and I feel like anything that shines on camera it looks shinier I mean if my skin is shiny in real life it looks even shinier on camera so let's see all right y'all can still see me so I'm going to apply some of this new primer that I have this is from milk makeup this is the pore eclipse mattifying primer i have used this one time before and i think i like it um but i'm not sure how matte it actually keeps me but i do like the texture i do like that it kind of helps to fill in my pores a little bit even though it's not a, a pore filling primer but i need to kind of test it more to see if it actually helps keep me matte longer. I'm gonna wear eyeshadow today, so I'm gonna put this Milani eyeshadow primer on. Brows, it's just my normal Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I will have all these products linked down below in case you guys are interested, and I will have the shades that I'm using for each product too, so. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and use this new palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually have two palettes here. I have this Tom Ford one, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use this Charlotte Tilbury one. And this is called the, In the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. Looks like that with all the numbers in there. And I think I am going to try to use one of the number ones. So the numbers say like each number. <laughs> Number one says prime, number two enhance, three smoke. So basically she's telling you the order to put them on and how to apply them, which I think makes it a really easy, I like the concept of it. And since I'm trying this for the first time, I'm actually going to stick to that. So let's see, which one do I wanna do? Um, I think I'm just going to do the daytime look, which is this first one here. So these three shades here are the daytime look. So I'm not going to um, talk through this portion. I'm just going to speed through it because if I try to talk through it, it's going to take me a long time. And I'm not a person who likes to spend a lot of time on makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed through. Beyond words can describe how you ignite this fire so deep inside. Got me hot like the summer. Oh, oh. Really, no one even knows me like you do. There's not many in my circle, so few love how you're my friend and I just fool. Love it when you say that you are here to stay. Oh, I catch you never, it'll push you away. pretty much done i may put some on my lower lash line but that'll be after i do my makeup or after i do my foundation and everything so i think for foundation i guess since we're doing charlotte i might as well use my charlotte tilbury foundation <laughs> so um this is the beautiful skin foundation i have mine in the shade 12 neutral hopefully it hasn't gotten too light for me because i have gotten a tan but we shall see so i do have a beauty blender that's wet or damp 
that I'll be using to apply. But even when I use the beauty blender, I typically like to put the foundation on my face with the finger and then use the beauty blender to, um, to blend it out. concealer I'm going to use this new rare beauty concealer I have mine in the shade 380w I have used this before and I do like it then to set that I'm using my beauty bakery powder this is in the translucent translucent shade I don't always set my face um, because I don't really like the way that looks but today I kind of feel like I need to like I feel like I'm already looking kind of shiny I don't know so I'm just going to set it actually no I'm just going to use a little bit more of the beauty bakery powder and set my oily points like a very small amount it's really humid here lately so i feel like that humidity is just a no-go for oily skin <laughs> all right so that's better all right what we doing now i guess i will go ahead and add a little of the smoky color underneath my eyes so i'm just going to take the this shade here and go underneath my eye. And then I'm also going to take the um, first shade here, the lighter shade that's a little bit um, shimmery. I'm gonna pop that into my inner corner. All right, eyes are done. Now I'm going to try my new bronzer. And this again is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the new cream bronzer. I've been dying to try this. But the thing is, I've either been like rushing when I'm doing my makeup or I'm really not going anywhere. Or I am going somewhere, but I don't have time to try new products. Like if I'm going on a date, I don't usually like to try a product for the first time because you never know how that's gonna turn out, right? Um, so this is in the shade number three, I think. Yes, three tan. And I'm just using my NARS cream bronzer brush. I barely tapped it in there because I remember when I swatched this, it came off like really <laughs> a lot on my hand. So I'm trying to be careful with it. But it is showing up. Hopefully y'all are seeing it on camera good. It is showing up. It is um, more of a natural looking bronze for me, which I think is good because this is actually like, I'm pretty dark for myself right now. And of course, this is not the darkest shade she offers. I think there's two more shades. Hopefully there's two more shades and not just one more shade. But I like, yeah, that looks really good. I think it's a good balance of warmness and neutralness. Like it's not an orangey looking bronze. Y'all are probably not even gonna be able to tell on camera, y'all. <laughs> but um, it's also not too like neutral gray tone like the NARS Casino bronzer, which I do like. It's just that now that I've gotten darker, I feel like that one's looking a little bit gray on me. But I will definitely still be using that like once I lose my tan again, probably in the fall. I'll reserve that for that. So yeah, I like, very nice. Okay, I don't have a new blush. Oh, I had this by Makeup by Mario that I really wanted to try. 
Um, but I already put bronzer on. I think just for the sake of me trying this, I'm just gonna try it anyway. So I'm just gonna use this brush here because it's small enough to get in there and kind of isolate the product. Okay, um, yeah, there's definitely a glow to this product. I really like this. Um, probably not the best to use if you're trying to go for a more matte look because there is definitely some glow to this bronzer, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted a glowy bronzer. I'm not going to bring it down here, I don't think. Maybe a little bit. I'm kind of just going to keep this on my cheeks for the main part. Yeah, I like that. That's all I'm going to do. Um, as far as the bronze for this, I may use the highlight shade in this a little bit later, but that's all I'm going to do as far as the bronze because I don't want it to get to be um, too much since I already applied a bronzer. So for my blush today, I am going to use, I guess I'm going to use this. This is Savage, Savage by NARS, and this is a like bronzy tone blush. I lost this blush for like months and I finally found it. It was underneath. It was underneath one of my um, cabinets in here. And I'm pretty sure Chloe must have gotten it and then somehow it got under there. But I love this blush. Alrighty. So your girl is looking a very bronze today. <laughs> and then I am gonna use the Makeup by Mario again just for the highlighter portion. So I'm just going to tap my brush at the top portion of this. I don't know if y'all can tell, but this is like a gradient. So I'm just gonna tap it into the top portion and apply that on my cheekbones. Even though I kind of feel like I don't need it. Where is my highlighter brush? Oh, here it is. All right, so that is that. Next, I'm just going to apply some lipstick and then we will be done. All right, so for my lipstick today, I'm gonna go with the pink. This is Motivate by Rare Beauty. And this is like a watermelon pink color. These are lip souffles and they are not completely um, opaque. I forgot to put on mascara. I'll do that off camera though. They're not opaque. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I like, I like the way they look. They do dry down to a matte finish. And they go on like with a moussey texture. This is the only shade I have from them. But I do really like it. All right, there are the lips. I'm going to turn the camera off, do my mascara, and I'll be back in a sec. Hey y'all, happy Friday. It's the next day, but I had to come on real quick because I have to tell y'all about the stalker thing that I just did. So I need to go take my son to therapy and I felt like UPS was gonna be there at my house to drop something off while I was gone, even though I'm only gonna be going for a short time, right? And it's something I have to sign for and it's a Friday. So I didn't know if they would try to re-deliver it until Monday, which was a problem for me. So, what I did is I used my little UPS tracker, like, <laughs> if you sign up for their app, or not their app, but their, um, if you join their membership, I don't know what it is, it's free, and maybe, I don't even know if you have to join, but if you do, when they get close to you, you can see, like, the track where the truck is and you can zoom in on the map to see what road they're on. So, I saw they were in my neighborhood and I was like, I got 10 minutes before I gotta go. Let me try to meet him. <laughs> Let me try to meet the UPS driver and see if he'll give me this package because it was one that I could not pre-sign for. And I don't want to wait till Monday. Like I've been at home waiting on the package. I'll be back home after I take Noah to therapy. So yeah, I just rolled up on him like real smooth. Like he was very nice. 
and I had my ID, of course. It matched and everything. So he was able to give it to me and do the signature there. Um, so I appreciate him. <laughs> so much because I felt like I was doing like something real stalkerish but anyway that's all I wanted to say I'm about to go pick Noah up from therapy I'm not sure if I'm gonna turn the camera on again today I am going on a date tonight and I always say I'm gonna vlog some of my date but I don't know some stuff I just don't want to share and it's not that I'm extremely private but like I feel like I don't get that many date nights so I just am in the moment usually I'll just do like little snippets so I'll probably do that but you probably won't see like any vlogging of us like actually talking I kind of feel like that's too intrusive but I will maybe show y'all like the restaurant we go to or what I wear if I have a chance to do all that like if I'm not rushing to get ready uh, but yeah I just had to come on and tell y'all because I have never done no stalker crap like that so anyway <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later get ready to go out for date night quick little OOTD it's just a one sleeve shirt or one arm um, I'm wearing these satin pants and then my shoes are old uh, I think they're mark fixture or something and then my bag of the day is my new bag from MCM it's a it's not a it's a video it's not a photo <laughs> <laughs> Why are you cheesing with the camera? <laughs> Just be regular. Looks pretty strong for me, so let's see how that goes. Run me down, Demma, run me down. Count me out, Demma, count me out. Hold it down, Mia, hold it down. One man, I'm Mia, hold it down. Cool it down, Mia, cool it down. Cut the flight, then I cut the side, and I cut the vibe, then I. Alright, so what are we getting? I haven't had a sprinkles cooking in a long time. They are good. You remember the first time we had one? in DC. Why is it not letting me click it? Do they not have it? Oh, there it is. I had clicked it like three times. I'm surprised you let me get one without making me feel super guilty about it. <laughs> then as a real picture of actually getting my cupcake or that's just something they show every time? Hmm? cup of coffee <laughs> I know y'all hear my kids but it's Saturday so um yeah we had a really nice time last night Gosh, I swear to get louder when I turn the camera on let me close the door hold on so um we had a really nice time last night I think I showed y'all some clips but like I'm just not good at vlogging in person because when there's a lot of people around I don't I just feel weird about it. Even though I'm using my phone, my husband's like, uh, you know, everybody does this these days, right? You shouldn't feel weird about it, but I still feel a little weird about pulling out my phone around all these people and just filming stuff. So I'm not there yet. But anyway, we went to a restaurant called On Swan. It's in Hyde Park. If you live in the Tampa area, I love going down there. Um, I did wear my flats because I knew we were going there and I knew we'd probably have to do some walking because it's kind of like an outdoor area. They have restaurants 
different bars and they have stores and stuff too but you know at night stores were closed but yeah so we went down there to on swan for dinner and then after that we went to there's this wine bar um i don't remember the name of it we went to a wine bar i don't think i showed y'all any of that but it was really nice. We had a good time. And then we hit up the Sprinkles Cupcake Machine there. They have a sprinkle store, but it was closed, of course. I got the Salted Caramel Cupcake. It was amazing. I haven't had a Sprinkles Cupcake in forever, but it was really good. But I came on here to tell y'all that this bag, uh, she's a keeper, y'all. She's a keeper. I unboxed this recently, but last night was my first night carrying it, and I loved it. I was wearing all black. I think I showed y'all my outfit, but um, I could have worn like a bunch of different bags, but I was like, you know what? I want to carry my new bag, so I carried it. And I also kind of matched it to my lipstick. So, uh-oh, it's not my lipstick, that's my... <laughs> uh, let me turn y'all around real quick. I'm gonna give y'all a different angle. So this is still an awkward angle, <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> so yeah, uh, here's my little bag. And the lipstick I wore last night was, it's in here somewhere. Here it is. So I wore this lipstick from Gucci. This is Love Before Breakfast, and I felt like it matched my bag pretty nice. And since I was wearing all black, it was a it was a little look. I enjoyed it. Simple. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed wearing this, and I ate wearing this lipstick, which I think this is the first time that I've worn it out and like ate and stuff like that. And um, I ate like full-on meal and when I went to the bathroom to touch up because you know this kind of lipstick I needed after I ate I wanted to go to the bathroom to make sure I didn't have lipstick all over my face you know that's not a cute look on a date night um but um when I went to the bathroom it actually had stayed pretty good this is their matte formulation I did need to kind of touch it up like because it looked like it was kind of fading in the middle of my lips but it wasn't bad like I honestly could have just like still been fine just do this a couple times and I could have been fine, but since I was in the bathroom, I just went ahead and touched it up. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and let y'all know that because um, that was pretty impressive to me because typically, unless I'm using like a liquid lipstick, it's going to be around my mouth after I eat, even if I'm trying to eat carefully. You know, if you're eating greasy foods, I mean, I was eating scallops, but you know, still. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to share that with y'all. I might as well sh share y'all quickly what I have in here since... We're doing this and I'm loving this bag, so. Hey, Chloe. All right, let's sit her up here. <laughs> it crumbs, okay. Um, Chloe is wearing a dress because this is what she likes to lounge around the house in. <laughs> it's like her Easter dress from like a year or two ago, but anyway, um, here's my bag and uh, I carried this card case last night from YSL. I really like the pink with the yellow, so I switched into this. I was using my Louis Vuitton reverse monogram card case, but I switched out of that into this. And then I have my hand sanitizer. This is the Touchland hand sanitizer. It smells really good. I think it's watermelon or something. Yeah, wild watermelon scented. You wanna smell it, Chloe? See your hands. Let me see your hands. Rub your hands together. What does it smell like? Good. It smells like watermelon. <laughs> it smells like watermelon. There we go. And then um, my keys, which are always there. I carried my hand lotion. This is from Fresh. My AirPods. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Um, I think whatever it takes in there. Oh, okay. I had my, um, this is a lip balm from Pat McGrath. I don't know if they still sell these, but I actually found my backup one. So I um, put that in my purse. And because this is a small bag, I didn't carry like a makeup bag or anything like that. I just kind of had them loose in here, which is, you know, a risk. <laughs> but that's what I did. My, my lipstick, of course. And then I carried this sample this is the wonder woman sample from house of siage i wore house i wore house of siage wonder woman fragrance last night and then i carried this sample to touch up 
I didn't really touch it up much, but when I went to the bathroom after I washed my hands, I just resprayed my wrist. And that's typically what I do if I go out. Um, I'll just respray my wrist because, um, you know, I'm washing them. <laughs> and so, yeah, nice little touch up. What else do I have in here? This remote, which I've been carrying around lately. It's a remote for my phone to be able to take pictures. I never use it, but I figure if I keep carrying around, maybe one day I'll actually take a picture while I'm out somewhere. <laughs> And Got a receipt. Oh, we went to like three bars last night too. That was one of the bar receipts. That's it. She's empty now. So I'm going to put this stuff back in here. I'll probably still carry this bag today. I don't know. I haven't gotten dressed for the day or anything. We're not going to be doing that much today. But I will take my lipstick out and take my sample out. Lipstick. It's going to... Put that back in there. And put everything else back in there. Oh, sorry. Don't lock over my camera. All right, I'll, I can show you that. All right, you wanna see it? You wanna see the lipstick? This is the lipstick mommy wore last night. It's pretty, right? Pink. All right, y'all, Um, about to go get myself together. I'll see y'all later. clips that I just showed you are from earlier today. My husband and I went to lunch and we went to this place called The Crates, I believe. I'll have it listed down below, but it's on our side of town and it's like this new concept of, they're kind of like food trucks, but they're just like little like crates. <laughs> like if you guys have ever seen pods, you know, the little like portable storage, it's kind of like that but it's like different places mainly restaurants some other little things like a floor shop and that type of thing i've showed y'all it before but i think when i showed you before only like one place was open out there and now a lot more places are open i thought all of them were open because they had a grand opening celebration a couple weeks ago but they're still not all open so it's really not completely done yet but the food we had was good the place we went to i think they just opened the week before and it was a Jamaican restaurant. But anyway, I'm back home now editing my video and I got a delivery. So I figured why not go ahead and close out my vlog and show you guys the package that I just got in the mail. So let's open it together. So I ordered this from Saks Off It's like the Saks outlet. And um, I've had, <laughs> I'll just go in and say, they're sunglasses. One pair of the sunglasses I had in my Nordstrom cart and I was about to check out and then I waited and checked my email like that same day and I saw Saks was having a buy one get one 50% off sale. So I went on Saks site to see if they had the sunglasses on there and they did. So I ended up getting two pairs, the one that I was initially looking at and then I found another pair. I actually ordered a third pair, but they are from Free People. I really wanted a pair of like cream or white glasses 
glasses, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them because I'm honestly not sure how I'm going to like them. So I found some on Free People's website, but they have not gotten here yet. So when they do, I'll maybe show them on my Instagram stories unless I'm in the middle of doing another vlog, but we'll see. Y'all will see them somehow. <laughs> so um, first, uh, we'll open the one that made me place this order. And these are from Gucci. This case is huge. Why is this case so huge? Yeah, it's really big. I've had Gucci cases before, but I feel like this one is bigger. And it's a Gucci case. So maybe it's just because of the way the glasses are shaped. Um, but yeah, comes with this dust bag. One thing I will say is that sometimes if you order from like Nordstrom Rack or Saks Off Fifth, they will not send you the correct case. But both of these looks like they are the correct cases because they're all wrapped in plastic. But say like if they pull it off a store shelf or something like that, you probably won't get the correct case. They'll just send whatever case they decide to put them in. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but that has definitely happened to me in store before and ordering online. But I think it's more likely that you will get the right case if you order online. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I know why this is so big. Okay, I opened the wrong one. So both my glasses are from Gucci, spoiler alert. <laughs> so let me open the other one so I can show y'all the ones that made me place this order. All right, so this is the other case. Open it up, pink on the inside. And these Gucci cases come in like a lot of different colors. So I think I have a, like a teal one or a green one. All right, so here is the first pair, and I really wanted a pair of yellow tone sunglasses. So these are yellow tone, but they are not bright. I had my eye on a pair of Celine sunglasses that was on, I think it was on Nordstrom Rack, and I didn't jump on them quick enough, and they have not come back. I've had them, like, I keep checking them almost every day for the past, like, month. They haven't come back in stock. So when I saw these, I was like, okay, these, may be what I'm looking for. So let's try them on. I, I wish I had a mirror. I have to look on camera. Oh, they look good. I need a mirror though. I'm gonna have to try these on in the mirror, but I think looking at them in my camera viewfinder, I think I like them. I think I like the color because they're not too bright yellow. They're kind of between like a tan, an olive, and a yellow. Probably more so tan. I like these. I think they're gonna go well with a lot of the stuff that I wear. Yeah, I really like those. All right, so we got one winner. And again, these are Gucci's. That's what the branding looks like on the side there. The lenses, you can see my eyes through them, I think. Um, but they're not super see-through, which I like. So I feel like they will give me a lot of sun protection. All right, first pair down. And then the second pair is in this case. And these... I don't know about like when I ordered them, I was a little bit like, are these gonna work for me? Because they're a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I figured if I was gonna try them, the time to try them will be when I can buy one and get one 50% off. So let me show you what they look like. Get the plastic off. All right, so here are what they look like and they are huge. That's why they were in this huge case. <laughs> they are huge. Let's see how they look on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These things are so huge. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do these, y'all. <laughs> I kind of feel like they look a little buggish. They actually feel really good on my face. I'm um, like, even though they're huge, they have this thing here that makes them feel really secure, like on your nose, which I like. These feel very substantial. There's the branding there. And y'all gonna have to let me know what y'all think about these. Now, mind you, sometimes I feel like you can't get a good feel for sunglasses unless you're wearing an outfit that complements them and depending on how your hair is and all that. So I just wanna say that, um, but I'm not returning them for sure because I got buy one, get one half off. So if anything, I will sell them or something because if you return them, you don't get all your money back, unfortunately. Um, well, you get your money back, but the way they do it when you buy one, get one half off, I feel like they only give you like half the price back or something. I don't know, but they're not going back <laughs> um, unless I send both of them back, which 
it's not happening so yeah i don't know y'all have to let me know what y'all think of these are they too much i feel like they would look good with all black or all brown or even like a tan or cream nothing where you're doing too much like a more tame outfit because these are like a standout piece but they have neutral colors in them so i don't think they're too far out there i'm just not used to seeing glasses this big on my face like i knew they were gonna be big <laughs> but i don't know y'all have to let me know what y'all think of them and i will be playing around with them maybe when i actually get like nicely dressed i'll have to try them on and see what i think but <laughs> they feel really good and very good quality i just don't know if they're me anyway that's what i picked up i will link both pairs of the sunglasses down below if you guys own either one of these pairs let me know what you think of them i really like gucci sunglasses i feel like they do trendy sunglasses that are done right they also have very classic styles too but i feel like for trendy a nice high quality trendy pair of sunglasses i like gucci sunglasses i always feel like they're trendy but not too far out there so but I don't know about these, so <laughs> they may be too far out there. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.